Hey, I'm good. Good to be chatting to you, Scott. You as well. You as well. There's a lot of people in that that breakout room. I'll be honest with you. That was a bit weird. Hey, it's all it's good. A, a virtual virtual uh, junket <laughs> is a wild thing. You can yeah. all just hang out in that room. Right? Yeah, some woman in South Miami in a coffee shop. Just you know, as you do, <laughs> as you do. Congrats on the film. Really enjoyed it. I watched it today. Had lots of fun. Oh, thank you. Um, Great. I won't. I won't touch upon the fact that Spider Man has produced your movie, but I just wanted to ask you, kind of, uh, the the genesis and also. The challenges for you as a director, a writer director, to to get a film like this made and to get it kind of out into the into the populace, because it seems that people are talking about it already. Oh, I mean, you know, that's the what is the wildest dream you can never get complacent about when you're making a film. And and this was a very independently made film, although you're right, literally Spider Man is a uh, Toby Maguire, um, but it is made in its own way also, and I think it's sort of inspiring for some filmmakers outside of any traditional model of, of development, let's say, or funding model, it, it, the, it's sort of actually for such a Scottish film, it was financed from America. Um, and uh, yeah, and then, but you're still at the end of the day, you know, standing in a field in Scotland on a really short, aggressive shoot with actors just battling it out. And you, you just hope that it will, you know, someone will like it or will turn out okay. And to have the response it got at festivals and then now, you know, to have Amazon behind it and to be championing it and there's billboards and stuff, it is unreal. And it's not only really unreal for me, it's unreal for the four actors who are like, you know, just literally like some of them had not done a film before this. And it's just so exciting to be pushing them out into the world like this. It's amazing. Yeah. And it, it reminded me a lot of obviously we're we're huge fans of, of the Goonies. Obviously, our name is Hey You Guys. So it, it's kind of reminiscent of that in some in some ways. The Goonies didn't quite go to Bang this, on. No, no, this, no, that this was the joke. <laughs> I'm so glad you said that. I basically it plays around in a bunch of genres, but when they open yeah. a trap door at the end and they go through a tunnel and they go they end up in like a cove. I was genuine and like, yeah, my cinematographer is probably having a heart attack because I'm just referencing like the most expensive films in the world on our film. But I was like, <laughs> then they go into the Goonies. I was like, this is the this this these four kids from Glasgow should not be in the Goonies. But I was like, I want it to feel like that. So it was a it was on my like mood board, hundred percent. The Goonies. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm yeah. glad. It was just, I mean, cats the world, you know. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of, I mean, for you as a, when you, when you conceived the idea, obviously you just touched upon that, but was there something specific that, that made you want to make this? Was there a specific influence or was it just some, a, a story in your head that you, that you wanted to? No, make? yeah, yeah, it was, it was, I was sort of had lots of different ideas and then, and then this was the sort of construct of the Duke of Edinburgh award popped into my head as a great way of bringing teenagers in from disparate environments on a quest. It's a good device the sort of humorous joke of, of, of making a comedy horror in which they find themselves being hunted by a duke. But then one thing I really wanted to do was I wanted, I was, I, I, re, I wanted to sort of play against the distinction of like serious topics have to be serious, depressing films and, and comedies have to be very juvenile and gross out and then never shall the two meet. And so I was feeling really sort of angry and frustrated at, what depressingly just continues as a terrible political and environmental uh, world for the next generation to inherit. And so I, on the sort of simplest level, I was like, I want to write a revenge movie from the next generation on the current generation. You know what I mean? Not on one person or someone else, a generational revenge movie, which absolutely sides with the teenagers and is like, let's just fucking take over. Let's, you know, destroy <laughs> it. <laughs> Well, I really, I really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, my time is... Oh, missed. sorry. Yeah, no, I just took it's too all, long. No, no, it's good. It's good. It's all good <laughs> stuff for us. Uh, I really enjoyed it. So thank you so much for your time. And uh, I hope it goes gangbusters. Thanks, Thanks mate. Take care. Yeah. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!